In this video, I'll be walking through the Jupyter Notebook on our GitHub repo called 3.1 Regression Optimization Demos. Remember, there are three ways to get the content of the repository. The first way is to just clone it as you would any other GitHub repo. Then when you scroll down to the readme, you'll see two other ways you can get the content. The first way is just to click here, this hyperlink that'll launch a live instance of the GitHub, repos GitHub repo. The uh, third way is to download a Docker image that contains all of the up-to-date content. That's what I'm going to be working from today in this video. So going over to the live Docker image running the GitHub repo, I've already started up the regression optimization demos notebook. It's here. This notebook contains several interactive demos that get at one of the key concepts of chapter three from the text. That is the relationship between numerical optimization and fitting a proper linear regression model to a data set. This is illustrated conceptually in this figure here taken from the book. In the two left panels, you see an association. That is, on top, we've minimized the associated linear regression cost function. You can see we found the minimum here in red. This corresponds directly to finding the proper fit, the proper slope and intercept of the linear regression model for this data set. In the two right panels here, however, you see we haven't minimized the cost function correctly. So we've chosen this point here, shown in red, not at the minimum. This corresponds directly to finding an improper set of parameters for the linear regression model, so we get a poor fit to the data set. The first demo in this notebook gives you an interactive version of the figure shown here. It's called Demo 1 Point and Click Regression Parameter Selection. Just activate this Python cell and up will pop three panels. On the left is a toy regression data set. In the middle is the cost surface associated to the linear regression problem for this data set. And on the right is that cost surface viewed from above where we've just plotted the contours for visualization purposes. Now, the smaller the contour here, the lower on the cost function you get. That's the association. Now, you can click anywhere you want in this right panel. Wherever you click, you're gonna make a selection of parameters. That selection will be registered in the middle panel and also the associated line will be drawn. You'll notice the lower and lower you get on the cost surface, the better and better the fit to the data set becomes. In practice, in order to find the minimum of a cost function like this one, we need to use some kind of algorithm. We can't just point and click on things. One way to do that for linear regression is to use gradient descent. That's what the next demo illustrates for you. It's called Demo 2 Parameter Tuning a Linear Fit via Gradient Descent. When you Press enter in this Python cell. Up will pop two panels. On the left, you'll see a data set, and on the right is its associated cost function. Now what you just saw there animated was gradient descent going from a point high up on the cost function to a point lower on the cost function. And you saw the line here getting better and better in terms of its fit to the data set. If we run it again, you can see you start off somewhere high on the cost function where the fit is not good. As you roll down a hill, lower and lower, to, lower and lower on the cost function, the fit just gets better and better. So that's how gradient descent helps you find the minimum of a cost function like the one for linear regression. Note in practice, gradient descent runs much faster than this. We've slowed things down just so we can visualize what's going on. The final demonstration in the notebook gives you something or shows you something similar only we fit not a line to a data set, but a sine wave. Here it is in completion. In the left panel, again, we show you the data set that we're gonna to fit to. In the right panel, we show you the associated cost function. Let's run it. You'll see now the gradient descent is going downhill in the cost function. But as it's going downhill, we're not fitting a line, we're fitting a sine wave, so we have to get its amplitude and direction correct. There it is complete, let's run it again. In the beginning, right, the sine wave doesn't fit at all to the data set shown. But as you get further and further down the cost function, it shapes up quite nicely. Now, this is how you fit every kind of nonlinear function to a data set, or any kind of nonlinear regression works precisely like this. You always have a cost function, right? and as you get lower and lower on the cost function, the fit to the data set gets better and better. Now you might be wondering, if you look at this, why, it's, why this demo is still called tuning a linear fit to a data set. 
For technical reasons, fitting a sine wave like this is still considered linear regression. If you want to read more about why that is, you can check out chapter 3 of the textbook that's available for download on the website. The book website is mlrefine.com. To find that chapter, just click the link Download Chapters. You'll see it here. It's Chapter 3, Knowledge Driven Regression. And in particular, if you look in this chapter, if you want to see more about that, that fact, why is fitting a sine wave like that still considered linear regression, scroll down to section 3.2 called Knowledge Driven Feature Design for Regression. In this section, you'll find lots of technical details that explain why that comment is true. That's the end of this walkthrough. For more notebooks, check out our GitHub repo. You can find details on how to get there in the comments section of this video. There are a lot more notebooks here to explore and a lot more cool demonstrations that illustrate fundamental concepts in machine learning. If you want to learn more about the technical details on how this stuff works, check out our book website, mlrefine.com. There you'll find lots of sample chapters that contain lots of technical details that underpin all of the concepts that are illustrated in the Jupyter Notebooks.